Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are doing some renovations on our wooden cages. So, uh, the farm is expanding, so we will be completing, uh, making uh, this line of cages. But we also have uh, some uh, major repairs that we are making on these wooden cages. We will be sharing with you the mistakes that you can avoid while constructing your cages. Uh, especially if you intend to use this kind of mesh. Uh, so we'll be discussing that uh, in this video. Uh, the ideal mesh for your rabbit cage uh, is going to be this uh, green coated mesh, uh, like you can see. So we have a roll. Uh, we actually have two rolls that we will be using to uh, repair most of the cages and also complete uh, these new cages that we are building. So guys, if you find this interesting, stick around and watch the video until the end. So guys, this is how we are, we are moving. Uh, we have applied the mesh uh, on this first cage. Uh, there is one major adjustment that we have done is to do with uh, this room separation. Uh, in the past, we have been using uh, cardboard or plywood. Uh, like you can see for, uh, from this uh, cage here, uh, this is a very nice American chinchilla. Uh, this is due for delivering some bunnies. That's why we have put given it a nest box. So you can see that previously we had been using cardboard or plywood to separate the rooms of the of the different cages. So, but with this new design, we decided to do with the mesh. And the problem is uh, because from our old uh, cages that we built, uh, the rabbits are actually chewing uh, the board. Uh, so guys, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, you see that the rabbits chew on the board that separates the cages. Uh, therefore, all the time you have to keep patching uh, these areas that have been chewed on. You can see that even when we patched it, still the bunnies have chewed it. So by doing now the mesh all through, I think we will be uh, getting rid of this problem. Uh, this is a very nice... A silver martin rabbit uh, this is also uh, expecting to be giving us some bunnies very soon but i just like the silver ring uh, on the black fur uh, this looks very nice so guys our cages are taking shape uh, the new cages which we are building you see that uh, these ones we have put uh, doors and these are spacious enough so these are going to be our breeding cages for the breeding mothers and we we'll say that you have enough space even when you put the nest box uh, the rabbit will still have some some space to jump around uh, not not like not like this 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 these ones uh, you see that when we put a nest box in the rabbit is is left with just tiny space uh, for movement so we believe that also the new cages that we are putting up are kind of going to also uh, help us with this kind of problem because you see once you fit in the nest box here you're left with just um, with just some little space for your bunny to kind of move around uh, the cage uh, number two is also moving well uh, we have made the door frames uh, like you can see so we're going to put the mesh on these door frames and then we attach them then we're going to put a plywood uh, here uh, to work as the manure and urine collection point. Then after that, uh, the cages will be done. Uh, the third one, we have literally not started, uh, but we hope that also that will be uh, getting done. Uh, yes, guys, uh, this is how we are moving. Uh, like we have always said in our videos, for us, we don't use uh, iron sheets uh, when it comes to the manure collecting point we prefer to use uh, this plywood or cardboard which we are going to cover with um, with a polythene i have found this very cheap yet it is also long lasting uh, than the sheets uh, because the rabbit urine is very corrosive so if you use the sheets uh, the rabbit urine is going to destroy it so this is how the cages are looking like uh, we have also put uh, these holders. These ones are going to hold the water gutters, which are going to be collecting the urine. Otherwise, we are moving on well. Uh, 
the cages are almost uh, complete uh, so we'll be putting the the polythene and then we go ahead and and uh, transfer some bunnies in these cages here uh, the three cages are almost full uh, we are just left with that one and then we will be able to uh, complete so guys the cages are done uh, you can see like here uh, all these are complete uh, like you can see we have put the water gutters for collecting the urine and we have covered our plywood with this polythene uh, this is hard enough so this is where the urine and the droppings will be falling uh, through from the cage uh, the cage is self-cleaning uh, like you can see uh, the to assure that uh, the rabbits uh, remain uh, clean and dry uh, for you to build the automatic watering system you're going to need a couple of things uh, you're going to need a rabbit nipple uh, this is how a rabbit nipple looks like and uh, when the rabbit touches here it presses it inside and then it releases water uh, that's how it drinks uh, that's one uh, the rabbit nipple comes in a set uh, the set is is of a nipple then you have this T junction. This T junction is where now you connect the the hose pipe. We are going to come to the hose pipe in a minute. Then uh, you have the spring. Uh, the spring is for attaching it to the rabbit cage. So this is how your rabbit nipple is going to to come. And uh, this is inexpensive. If you find this one which has uh, this uh, bluish or this can be red, but this plastic cover. Uh, this is a bit stronger than the other regular ones and this comes with two springs uh, this is going to be like uh, one dollar uh, which is uh, an equivalent of about uh, three thousand to four thousand ugandan shillings this is what uh, this is going to cost you then you're going to need uh, this screw here so the screw is what you're going to connect uh, to your water source uh, your water source can be a bucket uh, it can be a jerry can. Uh, so this is what you you prick a hole and then you screw this to your water source and then you connect the hose pipe uh, which we will be showing you in a minute. So that's that. Uh, the hose pipe that you're going to be needing is this one. Uh, this is the size. Uh, please take note of the size otherwise your rabbit nipple will not be able to fit on uh, if you get a much bigger uh, hose pipe. Uh, one more thing that you're going to need will be these uh, uh, cable clips. Uh, these are cable clips. That's if you have a wooden cage. Uh, this we will use to attach the tube, uh, this hose pipe, uh, to the cage. Uh, if you're having metallic cages, then you're going to need uh, cable ties uh, because uh, you cannot use uh, those uh, on your metallic cages. So guys, this is how you use the clips to attach the tube on the cage. So you put uh, this underneath uh, your door and this should be on the outside. If you put it inside the cage, uh, the rabbit's going to chew on the, cube, on the tube and then uh, your water will be leaking. So you put it outside like this, use the clips uh, to hold it uh, on your cage. Okay, so guys, we are going to attach uh, the nipple. Uh, so this, you attach the spring uh, in one of these holes. You're going to use the spring to attach uh, the nipple onto the mesh. Ensure that your mesh has uh, these kind of openings which can allow the nipple to pass through. So once you have identified where you want to, to fix your nipple, uh, for me, I want to put mine in kind of in the middle of, of this area for drinking so you go ahead and cut uh, your hose pipe okay once you've cut your was your hose pipe then you need to attach your t-junction so this is how you attach your t-junction okay i uh, don't worry about uh putting adhesive uh to to seal it uh this hose pipe is is quite tight so when you put it in 
it will not be able to to leak so there's no need for you to get uh, adhesive to put here so as you've fixed uh, your t junction like that uh, then you need to get a height uh, where now you need to to put your nipple uh, if you're just uh, putting for older rabbits you can raise it as far as you want uh, because the older bunnies will be able to to reach it uh, but for us uh, this cage we are building here is for for our mother rabbit so most most of the time you're going to have uh, baby bunnies also here and they should also be able to reach the nipple so we need to position it at a height where when the bunny is uh, standing up it will be able to reach uh, the nipple so you place uh, your nipple in the in this opening for the mesh and then you use uh, this uh, spring to kind of uh, hold it tight on on the mesh so I'm going to drag and attach it there. So you see that the nipple is firmly attached to the cage. Uh, once you've done that, uh, estimate the height and then you make another cut uh, so that you are able to, to fix it on the, on the T-junction. So as you do this, uh, your nipple should be, should be ready. So this is how your setup is going to look like. You have to attach the spring in one of these openings. So you simply uh, do like this and your spring is attached at your nipple. So after that, you come and fix your nipple here on the last end of the horse. Okay, just push it in. And like I said, this is uh, super tight. So there is no need for you to put adhesive. It will be able to hold. Uh, once you've done that, then you simply attach. Uh, your nipple the very last one to your cage okay again we're going to use the screw the spring to securely uh, hold it onto the mesh so guys uh, that's it uh, for for that uh, now we have successfully installed watering system on the cages uh, like you can see, all the cages have been fitted with uh, this watering system. And now it's time to, to connect the system to the water reservoir. Now, for this, you're going to need uh, the other screw that we talked about. Uh, the one which you can uh, fix on either your jerry can, your bucket, to kind of work as your water source. So guys, this is the water this is the hose pipe that is coming from our water source and this is our new pipe which is going to the to the new system, the new cages that we have just completed so we need to cut here and join uh, on on this other uh, hose pipe that is bringing water from the reservoir I'm going to use the T junction uh, so I'm going to have it like this then I connect this other pipe that is taking to the new cage uh, here so I'll go ahead and make a cut here. And like you can see guys, there's water. So I'll just secure the T-junction uh, here like this. And then I will go ahead and attach uh, on, the, on the water system. So guys, that's how I have attached that. So you see that there's water flowing uh, in the pipe going over to the other side to the new cage. And that's what you want. So we're going to open. Uh, we're going to open uh, one nipple to just kind of let the water flow, so that uh, pressure can build up. And once uh, pressure has built up in the hose pipe, uh, the rabbits will be able to get the water. So we have opened uh, here at the very end. So guys, like you can see, the water is already here, and you can see that uh, the pressure kind of building up. So guys, you can see that pressure has built up, so I'm going to complete the connection uh, to kind of keep the pressure going. And then we're going to show you how the water is going to be coming out. So guys, this is, this is how the pressure is. In the nipple, you see that when I touch it, you see that the water keeps uh, coming out with high pressure. So this is how the rabbits are going to drink. Uh, with this, it means that our watering system uh, is complete uh, this is the best way you can give uh, rabbits water because with this you're quite sure that 
uh, your rabbits will not go without water the whole night. Uh, if you've watched this video this far, please guys give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, to get notified when we release new content. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.